So, I'm sure most everybody or anybody watching this video has had some vested interest in what's happened recently here in VR chat. I guess the uh, the devs decided to ban mods, which for me makes kind of, I don't know, makes really no sense. I mean, I kind of get it and the reasoning behind it, like, oh, we want to ban cheaters and, and harassers and trolls. And I'm like, okay, you, you kind of did that with the, when, with the banning of VPNs as if that wasn't bad enough. I mean, I don't know. I, I think that history is, is kind of repeating itself. It's just like, I don't know. Other games have done this. I mean, we all hate anti-cheat software. It impacts our our fun to an extent it is because it impacts our computers. It has to run through our computers, which slows down. And if you have a a slower computer or not, you know, a modern rig, it just basically chews it up right up to the point where it makes the game hard to play. Like it lowers the frame rates, it makes long load times, etc., etc. I think the debacle could have been handled a lot smoother, a lot differently. I mean, I look at other games that are still around. I mean, uh, the most obvious one I could point to would probably be an old game called Second Life. In Second Life, they still use, um, you can still use the original client or you can use uh, a whitelisted uh, external client, meaning from another, comp uh, another company, another, um, another source, allowing you to do things that the main client can't. But it's obviously been whitelisted because those people who run Second Life were like, okay, this one works, this one's okay, this one, this one will not be allowed. And they set their client up, connectivity and, and client up around that. I think the same could be said for mods. I mean, I know there's uh, probably a lot of mods out there, but I think whitelisting mods would be the better route to go rather than to just ban everything. I really think that's just not the way to go. It's going to chase off a lot of future users. It's going to chase off content. I mean, there's going to be a lot of loss. This could be handled better. I know. I'm your, I'm I'm pretty much armchair quarterbacking the situation. I'm just giving my opinions. That's it. They're just strictly mine. I don't know if people will agree with me, disagree with me, but I would love to hear your comments. So speak up in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say and what your thoughts are on the matter. Granted, I will not probably be able to speak a whole lot because, again, I don't use mods. I don't know what mods are out there. I know there's bad mods, mods that crash worlds, mods that uh, allow people to troll and, and harass people. But I also know there's good mods. It's just not something I've ever dabbled in. For me, I I have been a supporter of VR Chat for a good while, even going so far as to become a VR Chat Plus, which <clears throat> it's not for everybody, but... I could see where it's like VR chat could capitalize on that too. It's like, okay, yeah, we get like a hundred avatars. Ooh, yay. I mean, for me, I love that aspect. That's what got me to sign up for it. Allow other things too, like make a tier system. Do something that will allow this debacle to just kind of be, I don't know, put a band-aid on this bad boy. Don't allow it to just fester into a, a rioting mob of people who are like, well, you know, screw you, VR chat, screw you and your, you know, you hate mods and blah 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 blah. I know no matter what VRChat does at this point, it's going to piss somebody off. It's going to piss people off, whether it's a great majority or a minority of you know intended special users. It's hard to say. Start think tanking. Start group to you know have your all hands meetings. And get something together. Mods do not have to go away. You know VPNs. I'm still sad about that, and I'm a little butt hurt. But at the end of the day, I understand the reasoning. I think people should be held accountable for that. A lot of folks have said, uh, you know, that hey, uh, pretty much the only people who use VPNs is because they're trying to, you know, to hi I forget what the comment was. So I apologize, but it <laughs> having a brain fart. Essentially, just find ways to work. Find a, find a midpoint with the community. Talk to the community. Talk to the people who who are well-known, even the ones who are well, not well-known. It's just try to get feedback. Try to find a middle ground where mods and a game can be, you know, come together and shake hands, sing kumbaya, dance a, dance a jig, and then go off in separate ways. I mean, shoot. I could almost make it like, you know, hey, let's make it like, you know, the mods are South Korea and North Korea's VR chat, you know. Just got to find a middle, way, middle ground, come in that little uh, denuclearized zone for a few minutes, sit at the table, figure things out, and then go back on the separate ways. And no. VR chat is not North Korea. That was a bad analogy, but I'm still keeping it in there for the sake of visual, mental visuals, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, mods, I think, do not hurt the community as bad as 
everybody thinks he does. And again, I think it helps some folks. Like I've heard about ones that are, you know, uh, closed captions to know what's going on around them. I think that's bloody amazing, especially if, you know, you're hard of hearing. We have an entire community here uh, dedicated to uh, the deaf and hearing impaired. But it's nice to have something on that will allow somebody to who doesn't have sign language ability or to read it to be able to you know interact with folks like okay okay this is what's going on you know that way they still they're still involved and still included at the end of the day mods really need to stay here I, it's kind of, it's what built the community for god's sake i'm not saying they all should be here i'm just saying that someone should seriously be in charge of just working with somebody in the middle figure out what's good what's bad Put your foot down. Yeah, you're going to lose people no matter what. But I think it would be an olive branch to the people who will use mods. I, for one, don't like playing a game that is barren. I mean, who likes to play a game where they can't find people except in a few worlds? That's kind of where that, that goes for me. I mean, ultimately, I like to interact with people despite being an introvert. I like to meet new people. And it's kind of hard if it kills itself out because the majority of people who came here with, you know, to chill and relax and vibe don't anymore because the things they came here with are no longer allowed will vr chat survive i would probably say it's a definite yes i mean when you look at uh when you look at the things that are still around today i mean people love their nostalgia people will always love vr chat to some degree there's a lot of games that are still out there and still running i mean just look at um everquest Anarchy Online, Final Fantasy XI, Second Life, I mean, it, the list goes on. At the end of the day, though, um, VR Chat, please reconsider this whole mod debacle. You know, make your voices heard, people. I'm sure some of you are, but be responsible about it. Don't be just complete and utter, you know. Don't be Karens and Kens, demanding and this and that and da -na 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 -na, threatening. You know, just put really good responses out there let them see that the community has spoken and the community is what makes this game without the community there is no vr chat speak up speak out and with that i'm going to go ahead and end this short it's not the the greatest video i've probably talked about but i just wanted to put my my 10 cents in there so for now thanks for watching and cheers